Companies, it's time. The time has finally come when I woke up today because I wasn't feeling that well. But the time has come for a Microsoft Net Framework update. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Oh, um, yeah, that gives me a moment. Okay, now we're in the right category at least. And the update is done. That's even better. Hardware detected. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, no, settings. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the game is not coming up. That sound is not coming up. Oh my god, what is going on? Uh, accept. Accept everything right now, how it is. And where do we start the game? Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! Warhammer 40k Dark Tide! Yeah, I'm building shader cache. Seriously. Why, game? Why? Why are you preventing me from, from in, enjoying enjoying this? Oh, man. Huh? Uh huh? It's loading? It's initializing? Come on, do it! Do it! Oh, fuck, do it! Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it's loading! Scream its screen is not taking, taking its time. It's not a full screen. Oh, come on. No. No. It is the 41st millennium. Yeah, here we go. For 10,000 years, the Imperium has dominated the galaxy. Yeah, because the galaxy is a bitch. There is only war. There is only war. So great. <laughs> oh, man. Look at Every this. Every human soul, from the most highborn lord to the most basic servant is dedicated to the service of the God Emperor of Mankind. What? Yes. <laughs> the Imperium's battle fleets and armies, from the conscripted soldiers of the Astra Militarum <laughs> to the elite space marines of the Adeptus Astartes. Yeah, that's not us. <laughs> keep humanity safe from alien threats and cosmic horrors beyond imagining. Oh, I can imagine a lot. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at this! <laughs> it looks amazing! But there is another war. The war inside. It is the one in which I serve. Oh, you look crazy. <laughs> Fight the engines. Okay. Damn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's our heroes. Oh my god. Fuck yes. Warp travel initiated. Our war is not one of battlefields and fleet engagements. No. It is waged by the dedicated agents of the Imperial Inquisition. It is for Oh wow. Look at the hype city. Look how Imperial. high it is. Oh wow, it's so crazy. <laughs> In the back streets. And the forgotten sub levels. Ooh. In hive cities like Tertian. Tertian? Okay. Here come the heretics. Do they? Oh man. If the Inquisition fails. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, it's not heretics, it's it's <laughs> demons. <laughs> demons right away, what the fuck? The Imperium falls with us. It will, yeah. If we fail. On one planet. <laughs> yeah, nice! Oh, that was cool. Possessing Inquisitorial Clearance. <laughs> great. Oh, that's so great! I'm so fucking pumped up for this. Accept the privacy policy. Uh, yeah, okay. Why should I decline that? Okay, um... Orkrin. Uh, no, I don't want to... No. I, I want to... I want to change the settings, guys. Okay, maybe, maybe. options. Interface, video, maybe it's here. Why is it in windowed mode? That's so dumb. Borderless full screen. Yes. Thank you very much. I don't know why. Escape. Ah, oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. 
Okay, what what do we have? Um, I saw the preview on the classes, so this is obviously the Ocarina. Skullbreaker! Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, Psychis. The Psychis could be cool. I don't know. I don't know what to play! Is that a preacher? A sharpshooter? Okay. Seriously, um... I, uh, I guess one of those two. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's let's take the um. Well, let's take the the psycho. Yeah, don't know what's coming. Oh, what's this? Homeworld. The Mobedian domain is full of established worlds, burgeoning settlements, and far-flung colonies. Even though they've been on the move for a long time, there's still one place they can call home. Ocadia. <gasps> oh. Oh. We're. We're picking a world? We're picking a fucking world? What the fuck? I'm picking my home world, a home world for my character. <gasps> How cool is that? Oh, Kadia, yeah, Kadia was, was really, like, the planet to hold back chaos. Mornax. Mining world. Ah, oh, small grim mining world. I love mining. For its hellish conditions, which produce the famously hardy and dur populous vein. Relatively new colonized, Pavane is already self-sustained, world rich of natural resources. Uh, does that have anything to do with what we get? Crucius? So the second world of Mubian domain, Crucius is a large shrine world and a popular destination for pilgrimage. Massilia Glor Gloriana, a heavily forested moon that serves as a minor shrine world. Messalina Gloriana has a few resources and low population, but it's strategically important since the fall of nearby Comaris. Comaris, so Comaris was already corrupted. <gasps> No. Ross Syria, a small acre world, <laughs> acre world, <laughs> produces intensively farmed and mass harvests grain crops. Ross Syrians are the butt. <laughs> They're the butt of many jokes, <laughs> considered backwards by other Mobians, <laughs> the Mobians, and yet they are hardworking, honest to a fault. Branks Magna. A thriving industrial world bank's magma is the most densely populated in the Mobian domain. It's teeming billions, manning its continent, spanning manufactorums night and day. Oh, that's cool as well. But it's Incron. An oceanic world. The populace of Incron inhabit vast hive islands. Hive islands? Incron is the Mobian domain. Main naval report. No, actually, I'm, I'm very drawn to, to Mornax. I think it has next to to Kadia and Brang Smagda the coolest name, and I'm I'm a, I'm a real big fan of mining, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, Mornax as my homeworld. Continue, let's go. Childhood. Okay, so we can pick our own childhood. What the fuck? One's character is defined by childhood experience, or so they say. Like so many others in the grim darkness of forty first millennium, you had. A tough upbringing, but unlike many, you got through it <laughs> with the scars to prove it. Okay, what does we have? Militia Lekei. Lekei? The pressed Jews of the planetary militia, militia rarely achieve any rank, no gar nor garner any glory. If they're lucky, they might learn some survival skills while serving as trench, trench runners or ammo monkeys. Ammo monkey! Tunnel sentry. Not yet fully grown and able to slip through tight confines. I've used make excellent tunnel sentries in the mines. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Mine thrall. A place at an imperial orphanage does not come cheap. Those orphans deemed fit and able are often sent to the mines where they toil at backbreaking work to pay off the debt. Yeah, maybe that's our thing, right? We are a mine thrall. Um, I have to say, I, I know a lot of the world of Warhammer 40k and I know it is maybe the most brutal world fantasy world sci-fi world ever ever to be created and it's absolutely insane and fucking cool and i would not like to live in it for real but i love to play the games grinding toil growing up there aren't a lot of options for folk folk like you growing up, but you had to find a way to overcome the trials of youth by fair means or foul. <laughs> cool. Grinding toil. In the Imperial Manufactorums, care only a 
about output and if workers die to overwork or lack of safety conditions then so be it more workers are readily available as grist for the mill <laughs> yeah <laughs> totally wow this this stuff really hits hits the nail wow yeah and just no sacrifices to great outcast taught to hate and fear mutants of witches oh yeah any who show even a minor inexplicable melody are avoided like plague or even ostracized by the community's visions to make a living telling fortunes in the seedy underbelly of mobian society but such is the mistrust of witches that it is only a matter of time before the unsanctioned use of psychic powers is reported forged by toil imperium is built upon the backs of strong laborers who man mines, farms, manufactorums, and loading docks throughout the galaxy. Some never know, some never know life beyond backbreaking toil, growing strong beneath the arduous demands of their overseers. Self reliance. Even the most civilized sectors of the Mobian domain are subject to all manner of threats from mutants, rogue psychers, cultists, and more. In the dog eat dog. <laughs> doggy dog world of the lower hives everyone must find a way to navigate these myriad perils <laughs> this is great isolated the arbitrary what bureaucratic decrees of the adapters administratum can draft or displace the populace of an entire hat block often for no dis what discernible reason escape to the wastes the needs of the Imperium exact a heavy toll with mass industry creating wastelands, va vast dead zones that are often home to outcast mutants but also attract settlers who dream of freedom beyond the hive's imposing walls. Now, I actually, I think we are an outcast. Oh, wow. Defining moment. Wow, wow, wow. We, there's so much character creation in this one. Seriously, that's so crazy. You've been through a lot. This struggle you call life demanded it. <laughs> but through all the hardship hardship and all the triumphs on incident strands out in your memory which has shaped you more than anything uh spell of madness unsanctioned psychers are considered to be the most serious threat to the imperium and they are ruthless haunted some go on to be pressed into service by the scholastia psychana but for most a darker fate awaits declared a witch Unsatisfactorily round up and handed over to Adeptus Astra Telepathica, where their fate is decided most. Are either selected for training by the Scholastia Psychana or sent on the black ships to feed the Astronomicon. Yeah. Like the um the Emperor of Mankind is fed what is it? Uh, I think ten million or a million psychers a day to be um kept alive in the golden throne so it's, it's absolutely insane absolutely insane and they they gather those people from all around um the galaxy and ship them ship them all over to terra just they they are food food for the golden throne it's crazy it's absolutely crazy the black ships rope psych is often called witches but are not slain outright are either sent to the Emperor's table via the black ships or taught to control their powers under the grueling regime of the Solostia Psychana. So, mutant incident, whether warped by genetic defects or chaos. Or what? Chaos taint? Mutants are reviled by the Imperium. Most Imperial agencies teach intolerance of the mutant as they as a key tenet and see mutation as a curse that leads only to corruption. Yeah, that's a big thing. So, it, it's all because of the chaos corruption <clears throat> that they fear this so much that's a that's a real problem <laughs> every time a world is uh, corrupted by chaos that's a really big problem and they have to yeah they have to go to through through a lot of resources to to fix it let's call it that but sometimes they just erase everything burn it all down psychic awakening Psychers sometimes called witches are mutants. This, this comes up a lot. Are mutants who use their minds to draw power from the warp to perform such supernatural feats. Many are blissful, unaware of the power within until they experience a psychic awakening, after which they are often shunned from society or even hunted by the Scholastia Psychana. Captured. Citizens and loyal defenders of the Imperium understand that there are many fates worse than death. 
I think that is true, especially for Warhammer 40k. For some, there is no nightmare like being captured by cultists, rival gangers, gang gangers, or even foul xenos. Whether taken for study, hard labor, or interrogation, the results are always grim. The voices! In most occupations, hearing voices would be considered a sign of madness, however, to some members of the Ecclesia Xi, the Thrasyps they can't on such, such messages are a source of inspiration, for they are perhaps a sign of blessed communion with the God Emperor. Oh, hmm. Let's see. Let's take the uh, let's take the black ships seriously. Yeah, working on the black ships always a cool thing. Let's see appearance. Oh wow, wow! This one has so much character creation. I thought at the very start because I, I didn't want to spoil myself too much um, from everything. Um, I thought it would be more like Vermintide 2 in terms of character that we play a hero that maybe is already even given a name. And But it seems we can, like, this is crazy character creation in, in yeah, what's that? Oh, that's Ma Maximical. Okay, no, we're a man. Obviously, I'm a man. Let's see, face type. Nah! You look, um, interesting. <laughs> what do we have? He looks a little bit like you know, those, yeah, yeah, those cheekbones. Oh, well, that's more like me. What about the nose? Hey, Sleaze. <laughs> Why am I streaming right now? Not that you're complaining. Um, I'm streaming right now because the game came out and I didn't feel well yesterday. Otherwise, I had streamed it yesterday, to be honest. Um... So that's why I'm up here. As soon as I could, I downloaded it and started the stream. I even started the game not knowing that there was uh, some updates uh, I still had to do before I could start it. And now I'm in character creation! Seriously, I'm so pumped up for this, I want to play it! But first, we have to make our character. Uh, let's see. Okay. What about this guy? No, I need another nose. Seriously, this nose is not my nose. If he wants to... If he... Yeah, no. Oh yeah, that one's kind of fitting. What about the rest of his face? Not that much. What about this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's totally me. I mean, he's as ugly as I am. Like, 100%. <laughs> what is this? His skin color? Yeah, okay. No, I'm I'm sadly, even my name, even if my name is uh, Black Knight, I'm a very white guy. Because I don't see too much of the sun. Okay, eye colors. Oh, so we can make one blind. Wait, that's the right one, yeah. Okay, let's give him, let's give him, give him, give him red eyes. Kind of red, not really red. It's down there. Oh, that's only for females. <laughs> Funny, okay. Can we give him black eyes? Oh, yeah, he can have black eyes. Got to touch grass. <laughs> now I'm, I'm giving, I guess I give him black eyes. Both? Hmm. Kind of pinkish. No, no, no. Let's make one blind. Kind of my thing. Hairstyles. Okay, let's look for hairstyles. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that looks silly. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's not too bad. That's how I looked a few years ago. Kind of. Yeah, no. That, that one. That's it. 100%. <laughs> that's so very silly. Yeah. Like a hundred percent silly. Um, how did they come up with all those hairstyles? Oh, oh no, no! I'm sorry, bro. That's not your hairstyle. <laughs> Maybe give him this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. It needs. It should. It would need to be a little darker. Maybe dark. No. Maybe I could like this, yeah. Facial hair, yeah. Bro, you need a beard. I'm sorry, but you need a beard. Um, hmm. Is there a thicker one? A little bit thicker? Let's see. Oh, that one looks fine. You like the long-haired one? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I could let it grow a little bit further. <laughs> I think that beard is fine, is it? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Oh no, that one's <laughs> kind of funny. 
Uh, I guess I'll take the one. This this one looks a little, little trickster-like. Facial tattoos. Oh, is there anything? Uh, where does he have it? Wait. It's not in his face. Zoom out. Okay, okay. It's, it's, a, it's like in um, Sea of Thieves. You get a set of tattoos. <laughs> little eyes. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't see I don't think we will see much of that. It's just for the fun part. What is what was that? Yeah. Zoom in. So now he has actually stuff in his face. Mm. No. No skulls in my face. Where was that other one? <laughs> Looks like love. No, it's yeah, I guess it's something else, it's some kind of numbers. That's fine. Is it? Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, let's see. Body tattoos. Oh, now come the body tattoos? I thought... What? Okay. I'm gonna keep that one. Yeah, I don't want to go through all of this. Scar. So, so we already have a scar. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, now I can see it. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. I like that one. What's the, that was the one we already had. Oh. oh that one's nice. Oh, there's a lot of stuff that can do here, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, better, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Hmm. Okay. No, I, I like the one we had. Yeah. It's ruining the tattoo a little bit. I think that's good. <laughs> Height. But uh, the question always is how high is he already? Okay, I don't know. I'm not that super tall, so maybe make him like this. Don't know. If this is maybe like this. Don't know. If this is two meters. Guess I'm I'm around that size. Maybe has don't know if it has an effect or not. Some in some games, your um character size has actually to do with uh, your reach, your melee reach sometimes. And of course, um if you get hit by stuff or not. Face. No, I did the face. I think I did everything. Let's continue. Oh, now we have a voice to pick. I've dreamed many dreams before, but never like this. They're normally... Oh, wow, he's reading out the whole text. Nicer. I should have known the enforcers would not tolerate me forever. It seems that no matter how long oh my God, I it's set my no. expectations... Okay, I've I take this here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey! Your sentence, this is where your life journey has led. You are a prisoner of the Imperium, convicted of a crime you may or may not have committed. I'm pretty sure he did it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did it. <laughs> but guilt is irrelevant, irrelevant at this point. Innocence proves nothing. In the Imperium of Man, that's kind of true. <clears throat> Selection effect, red prison garb, insubordination, disobedience, Real or implied to imperial authority is enough to earn demotion, prison, or death. Oh, see, we get different stuff. Green prison guard. <laughs> so powerful are the upper figures of the Adeptus Ministerium that to draw their ire by questioning their faith or worldly habits is to invite a death sentence. Sedation. Mm, blue prison garb. Derelict of you, bro. Derelict of duty. The punishment for dereliction of duty is often death, but in some cases the sentence is waived. I think I'm I'm more of the insubordinate one. Yeah, that's that's kind of the truth. Also, I like the red the red garb. If there would be a black garb, I would take it. <clears throat> Continue. Oh, he, he's oh, you were born on Mo you were born monarchs. You spent your early years. Okay, that's like a oh, cool. It sums it up. 
Working in the mines, grueling over such glamorous tasks as sledge breaking and cart thrusting. <laughs> as you came of age, you became a subject of strange fits that sometimes had you speaking in tongues. It was not long before you were shunned by all who knew you. After being subject to rigorous and painful tests, you were slated for deportation upon the black ships. However, at the 11th hour, an agent of the Adeptus Astra Telepathica spotted your potential and granted you a training place in the Celestia Psychanica. Yay, I'm so lucky. <laughs> it wasn't that you didn't get out of the way for the passing magistrate, it was that you didn't get out of the way quickly enough. That alone was enough to earn a one-way trip to the prison ship, the Tancred Bastion. You are aboard the Tancred Bastion en route to Atoma Prime. Oh, cool. <laughs> I like it. Okay, he needs a fucking name. He needs a fucking name. What's your name, bro? Um. Oh, come on. 